video since I don't really get time during the day. Uh, I really haven't explained this except for the day I pulled it out because I didn't have nothing to do and I had broken bones. But this is my, I think, 08 Yamaha golf cart. It's got a 2009 Yamaha Grizzly 700 driveline. The front diff, rear diff, and engine. It's been rebuilt. Uh, it's got a JE piston. A newer cylinder and cylinder head, I believe. Uh, it's up a little bit high right now, but I've got a lot of the bugs worked out of it. I did put underglow lighting under it, so once it breaks down or you're hung up on something, I can work on it. Uh, I got the suspension all the way soft, and it flies over shit terrain for a golf cart. Uh, I run about 3 to 5 PSI in the tires to help the ride out, but I got it all the way squished right now, and we're going to rip it through a field that's hellacious on bumps and ruts and ditches and then actually where I live on my dirt road me and the, my son actually have a little spot that we rip down Travis Road through this field we made a trail through a ravine up the side of this hill onto the bike path you can rip through the oil fields in a big loop and come back down. But we're going to do like a high speed run because I don't think no normal golf cart would do what I'm about to show. I mean, it's not the fastest thing, but for next to nothing, it's impressive. Go ahead. Tell us what's going on here. Uh... So did we take the golf cart for a ride? Yeah, everything was going great, wasn't it? Yeah. And then what happened? The heat was cooling down. Yeah, the heat was getting hot. So we, our overheating light came on, didn't it? Because mm -hmm. Daddy didn't put enough water in it. Yeah. But we should be good, right? Mm -hmm. Mommy's going to bring us water and we'll, we'll be able to continue. Mm -hmm. Is this thing pretty sweet? Mm -hmm. Jump up in there and show us the cockpit, yeah. the driver's seat. Yeah. We'll get a video of it. Mm -hmm. It's tall, isn't it? So is that pretty comfy? Yeah. And this one right here. Yeah, it was running good. Oh, the heat is getting in my face. Yeah. Well, that's so we don't get cold. Let's show the IPC. We've got the mile per hour. Yeah. Our heating light might be off, but we're going to wait for Mommy to bring us some coolant. <laughs> She'll be here in a minute. I get up. But, did this thing run great or what? It's great. we got some suspension. Uh, adjustments to make yeah. and bolt the seats in a little better we're gonna put a roof and a roll bar on it we're gonna sand it we're gonna paint it yeah. it'll be cool golf cart update here I actually got the rear suspension softened as much as I can the front tweaked so I can see if it'll wheelie but the seats I got mounted. Uh, the kid loves riding on this. And it bucks and bounces. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it takes the, the terrain and the off roading very well. But it's no Polaris Razor. So now we got something to kind of hold you in there. And I mean, they're tight. Pretty decent. I wouldn't use them in a race car, but for a golf cart, perfect. Uh, still got a couple things to finish. I do need a roof because now that I'm strapped to this thing, I don't feel like if it rolls, having a broken neck and skidding upside down on my face. And I don't want to just build a roll bar and have it look all ridiculous and stupid. So if I could find a decent roof for it or the roof that goes to a Yamaha golf cart, I could design the roll cage to kind of hide and follow the framing of that. All right, what we got going here, I hate how golf carts look without roofs. So that is just sitting on there, but just 
starting to build a frame. A guy gave me a roof and I asked him if he had the frame and he said, yeah, there's two pieces of steel right there, make one. I like that answer. But me right now and the way I am is going nuts with how cool this is, but how poorly built golf carts are and how these two are kind of assembled. But right now we're just gonna get the gist of it together. And then when the shop's done and I get a break and I got some other project that I like cruising around the yard more than this, I will pull the body, tear it down, long arm kit it, probably get it a little lower, make more power, do a dual or a two into one exhaust on it. Um, the roofs on golf carts are annoyingly high. I'm going to make this one look cool. And the reason I want this is I kind of wanted a roll bar. We got the harnesses. But I thought I'd get some footage. And I know I've been going back and forth. Too many projects. But this has been my new favorite all-around project. So I'll get some before and after. Here's a little walk around with, I think, the best designed golf cart roof ever. I'll throw some before and afters in some of the build in here, but I lowered it way more than they come. Actually, a guy gave me the roof, but I had to build the framing. To me, golf carts look goofy without roofs. And this changed it and made it kind of look like a legit golf cart since it's a four-wheeler, a golf cart combined. But I thought it looks sleek, like it's going fast. That's awesome. I'm going to put some more lights on it. I got some gussets and stuff to finish. I'm going to put a sound system in it. I made my round tube pipe bender bend square. And I actually have a full frame. This thing's not even finished and it's sturdy. You can see it moves a whole golf cart. It's badass. First hill climb. Lining her up. Ready? Good job. Go left.
for that video. That's all I really got. Uh, I apologize for some of the out of order. I wish I had more time to record in detail some of the projects and whatnot. But uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm just kind of throwing some videos out there and seeing what people take to and what they don't. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.